All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to cover one of my favorite subjects, cryptids. I know there are a lot of you out there whose plans involve bugging out to the woods should a societal collapse occur and the bottom falls out. Today's video is about what you might encounter out there in those woods. I'm sure a lot of you, or most of you, have heard about Bigfoot. Some of you may have heard about skinwalkers. Even maybe the chupacabra. But have you ever heard of the dog man? Dog man is basically a werewolf that doesn't turn back into a man. It's a wolf like creature able to walk on its hind legs that's between six and nine foot tall. And in some cases, according to some stories, can weigh in excess of six to eight hundred pounds. You may ask, how does this affect you and your bug out plans? Well, should, should a large section of the population decide to run to the wilderness, they're going to start using up the resources that the creatures in the wilderness depend on, putting you in direct conflict or competition with the creatures that live in the forest. And when they figure out that you're the competition, they're going to start hunting you more than likely. Because at that point, whatever keeps them from attacking us on a regular basis will no longer be in play. Because the people that are in competition with them will be a direct threat to their survival. In my estimation, creatures or beings know about human nature because for the most part we kill everything we don't understand so they leave us alone as much as possible sure there are stories of, of attacks scary encounters and maybe even a few deaths but nothing like could be should they have to compete with us for food and space for their own survival. There are stories about Bigfoot and Dogman of them being shot multiple times and never even flinching. Just should you find yourself in that situation, you should be very cautious. Be very aware of your surroundings on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. And possibly, make sure you're always with somebody who you can outrun. Because you don't ha necessarily have to be fast. But it would be downright handy to be faster than the other guy. Most people
people are lucky. I suppose that's one way to put it. They've always got to live in the cocoon of the world of things that are easily explained and have never had to walk in the world of the unexplainable. I don't have that luxury because I've had some strange experiences. I've seen some things that can't be explained. And I know for a fact there's more running around out in this world than we've been told. It's the people who have never had those experiences that call the people that talk about the unexplainable crazy because they've never had those experiences themselves. It's kind of hypocritical in my point of view because those very same people would claim to believe in God who they've never met personally who they've never seen yet would claim this undying faith and belief in I would submit to you that if we have been lied to on a grand scale and it should be obvious to just about anybody who's going to get to watch this video by now that we have been that it would stand to reason that there's more running around out here than we might think and it would be to the controller's advantage to keep all that under wraps Because once our eyes start being open, opened in one way, they can be opened in more ways. And that's not how you maintain and keep control. And I'm not saying don't stick with your original bug out plan. Just be aware. shit out there the likes of which you've never seen before and when and if you ever do have an encounter with something like that it'll change your perspective forever I'll even give you an example based on a lot of people's personal experiences There are those of you out there that have had to deal with people who said they loved you, yet stole from you, beat you up, degraded you, called you names, and showed anything but love. And if you're intelligent and aware enough, that should have changed your perspective for the rest of your life. And there are those out there, believe it or not, who've never had to experience such things, whose perspective is skewed different than the rest of us, who've had those experiences, who understand that things aren't necessarily like we've been told. But I suppose, even in those situations, all you have to do and to be able to survive is be faster than the other guy.